fast, doesn't yeah, it? It, it just does. flies by. We're back. We're talking to Florence Henderson and her daughter Barbara Chase, Sheila McRae and her daughter Meredith, Zsa, Zsa Gabor and her daughter Francesca Hilton, and Abby Dalton and her daughter Kathleen Kinmont about the uh, Kinmont. I'm sorry, <laughs> Kinmont. <laughs> well, we're talking about the pleasures and perils of the mother-daughter relationship. And the segment one went very smoothly. <laughs> Barbara, hardest thing about growing up with uh, Mrs. Brady for your mom, what would you say it was? Probably finding out that Greg Brady was really my father. Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Williams. It was a yeah. terrible blow. Is, uh, I don't, is that a true story, Barry? <laughs> hello, love. Hello, daughter. <laughs> Uh, not exactly. I, you know, I think, um, first of all, thank you for inviting me to this, to your party here. Thank you for being here. Uh, I think um, one of the, the most often question I'm asked is if uh, we as uh, Brady's uh, acted, uh, interacted like a family. And as corny as it sounds, uh, in many ways we did, at least when we weren't dating one another. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Florence has been helpful to me, uh, God, in so many ways. All through growing up, she was, she was, she's always been one of my biggest promoters. I'll, I'll never forget having returned from a trip to uh, New York uh, in 1974, raving about this new musical that was out called Pippin. And uh, we were filming our, our fifth and final year on the series, and about three months later, she called and said, Barry, I think there's going to be, uh, that part's going to become available. Would you be interested? And I, and I was jumping up and down. I uh, flew to New York to meet uh, with Bob Fosse, who was the director at the Imperial Theater on Broadway to do this audition. And there were at least ten other actors there, all about my age, and it was very, it, the tension was so thick you could cut it with a knife. So Florence came backstage, she was living in New York at the time, she came backstage, and before I went on, after, after the last guy went off, she went on in front of me and sang a song and broke the ice and broke everybody up in the, in the, uh, from the production team. What a gal. <laughs> so now, but give he us, got the job, now, too. I, I want to get to the bottom of this story. Now, what, what is, the story is, is from your book, right, Barry? That oh, you, about, you about informed, Florence. did you actually date? Florence and I did. I had a passion for Florence from the first time I met her. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, listen, all you have to do so is just get briefly. that image of her being America's mom out of your head and take a good long look at her in that special way. Dad, dad. <laughs> so now, how did the story get started that he is your dad? Oh, she did oh. that on a show, and, and it just brought the house down. They, when. She was asked what the hardest part was of growing up, and she said, when I found out that Barry... I revealed. Oh, revealed that Barry Williams was right. Right. No tabloids, it's not true. It was just... <laughs> no, no. One little date. One little date. I mean, Barry, you must understand, from the time I first met him when he was like 13 or 14, had absolutely the worst case of raging hormones I have ever <laughs> seen. And... Uh, he, he, but our relationship was always extremely innocent. I think he even dated you a couple times. <gasps> oh, that's another show. <laughs> <laughs> really, this is getting incestuous. Now, Barry, where are you? Right now, I'm in Philadelphia. I've been touring with the uh, the musical City of Angels for the last almost a year now. And, and I'm going to Atlantic City for two weeks. At the Park Plaza. Will you stop? Uh -huh. Kevin's there on. Yeah. <laughs> Barry, thank you. Good luck with the show. Thanks, and thanks Barry. for calling in to say Bye. hi. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Meredith, hardest part about, uh, hardest thing growing up with a celebrity, well, you had celebrity parents. Hardest right. thing? Yeah. Well, first of all, mother dated a younger man recently. This wasn't growing up, but she had a, a man younger than I was who had a ponytail and who swore all the time. He was obnoxious. But anyway. <laughs> but I so naturally, him. they made me get rid of him. Was he wonderful? He was wonderful. So how could you get rid of a man who's wonderful? Because my family wouldn't talk to me if I didn't. No, so that's being a that great that mother. Exist. That's not true. <laughs> yes, it is. No, but I I think, in answer to your question, seriously, the, I think that, you know, being born into a show business family obviously has advantages and disadvantages. Yeah. The advantages are, you know, everybody that, you know, all your parents' friends are famous. It was Aunt Doris Day and Uncle Marty Melcher and Aunt uh, Jean Martin and Uncle Dean Martin and Lucy and Desi and all these people that were just, you know, my parents' friends. 
But I, it's hard having to share your parents with the public. I mean, when someone wants an autograph, you've got to wait, and you're tired, and you want to go home, and you're pulling at your dad's pant leg. And I think for me, you know, the most difficult part, too, was that when my father was arrested for drunk driving, I mean, it's hard enough for anyone to have a parent arrested for drunk driving, but when your father's famous, it was headlines in the L.A. Times, singer Gordon McRae arrested for drunk driving. And that was real hard, because all the kids were looking at me or laughing at me or pointing at me, or at least I felt they were. It's got to be hard when yeah. you're growing up. It was hard. terrible. It, it had to be terrible. hard for you yeah. growing up, Francesca, yeah. no? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, honestly, it had to be difficult. Well, yeah, because, because we, you know, it was really hard on Father's Day. Because I never... <laughs> 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 because, I, <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Oh, my Francesca's God. father was never arrested. <laughs> for <laughs> the only you! For the only <laughs> Oh, this is, this, my mother said this is when I was still nine. When is this? Oh. 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 I don't remember. You're just a rotten child. Oh. Yeah, rotten to the core. You are Please. rotten. Now, but her father was not arrested because he was called not Hilton because he was always drunk. <laughs> oh. Oh. My God, the Hilton family is going to kill yes, me now. Let's not talk about my family that way. Thank no, you. let's not talk about no, that, no, that it was, way. It was, it was very weird because even like today, like you see when I do comedy, nobody can relate to having a very famous mother, but it's great comedy material. You, I mean, had a very famous father yeah, who was enormously yeah, wealthy. Yeah, he was, yeah. Very, it was doubly hard yeah. for you. Yeah, so you've got to have good so people stories think, oh, for that. And, and how hard it is on me, you'll never ask. Oh, <laughs> what, the, I know it was hard on you, Jean. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> no, but the worst thing is that people, like, you'll have a boyfriend, and the first thing I want is, can I have a free hotel room? <laughs> and you usually <laughs> arrange it, too. No, not anymore. Um, <laughs> no, but it, it, people just assume, I, I was on a show, Geraldo went, and, and people and just what? assume... And what yeah, show? The some, <laughs> some, some crummy show. Oh, okay. No, don't say that. The Geraldo show. No, but and, 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 the, and the, the question was, based on your family's name, does that mean you're, like, fabulously wealthy? And, I mean, people just think because you're famous people's child that you have millionaire and you have no problems and everything is just fine because everything's taken care of. Well, actually, that's not true, and it makes it even harder for you because of that. You know, yes, I poor think baby. Definitely. She only has five horses to, to uh, support. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there are a lot of problems. We, we didn't even get down to you guys. We'll take a break. We'll come back and we'll talk. We'll talk to Kathleen. <laughs> I'm Vicky. May you always walk in sunshine. Sister Acts, the Lennons, the Landers, and the Maguire Sisters. They'll come up to me and they'll say, oh, are you you or your sister? From TV to records, good times are all in the family. Do you always dress alike, always? Well, no, not always. Not always. Just when we're doing something important like your show. Showbiz Sisters. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm now an old collector. <laughs> I'm Vicky.